Hello, everybody. Uh, so before you get into your live masterclass, it's important that you upload the patient's files so that you can do the hands on with the instructor during those four hours. So I'm going to show you how you can upload the files using our Smiofy drive and then how to upload them into the Smiofy software directly. OK, so over here uh, you can use your iPad, your iPhone, or your MacBook. Right now I'm using the MacBook version. And you can use any browser, or you simply search for drive.smiofy.app, and you will automatically get, get into our Smiofy drive, okay? The Smiofy drive is free to use, um, all you need is to log in with the same credentials that you signed up for your Smiofy application. So over here, I'm going to add my login and my password, and I will tap login. So the drive here is straightforward. Uh, we have document and we have patient. So for you to add the patients for your live training over here let's tap double tap in patient and then on the right side we will create a folder for that patient so here i have for example carol and i hit create notice here that now i have my patient's folder i double click and then i will go over here in this I can to upload the patient's file. Uh, my patient's files here are in my computer, but you can, uh, if you're using the iPad, it could be in any other folder or any other location, maybe in your photo gallery or elsewhere. For the mock-up designs, you will need the patient's front of a smile with the patient's face, of course, and as well as the upper and lower intraoral scan. Okay, so here I'm uploading uh, the patient's files and that's it. Okay, since I already logged in here with the same credentials that I will be using on Smiofy, now once I open Smiofy, let me log in here very quick with the same email and the same password, You will go over here on the top left corner, tap menu, and then tap new patient, and open patient digitalization. Over here, you will be able to upload the files, okay? You'll simply look for the box over here that says full smile, and then you tap in this plus sign, and select Smiofy Drive. Notice that the software will automatically open the Smiofy Drive from within the Smiofy app. So here I tap on my patients. Here's Carol, and here is her from Toby Smile. So down here, we see download. You tap download and the file will automatically appear over here. Same thing for your upper and lower intraoral scan. So over here, I tap plus, then Smiofy drive, my patient, here's Carol, and here I have my iOS scan upper. I just click once and then down here, I can tap download. Now, if your file looks like this one here on the left side, it means that it's not closed. So it's not ready to 3D print because the file itself is very thin and it's just exported from your intraoral scanner program. So before you even start 
your 3D design, Smileify will automatically close the mesh for you. That way, once you finish your 3D design, you can simply send it to print and it will be already exported as a solid file for you to print. But in fin case, your file is already closed. Uh, as you can see here, it has some, some sort of like a thickness to it, as well as a tabletop on top of it, as you can see over here, then you hit close, okay? This file here is open, so I will tap open shell, and now the software will automatically find any errors, reduce its size, and close the mesh. So you can just design it later, export and print. So this optimization will take, I would say like within 30 seconds to one minute, but it makes your workflow much faster as it's reducing the size of, this, of the file and it's already making it print ready. Now you hit done and you can upload the lower STL as well. All right, let's tap done. Over here, you can also calibrate the files if you want. Simply tap calibrate. All right, so then over here at the bottom, tap next. Add the patient's name and hit save case. Now your files are being uploaded into Smiafy and can be accessed from any device. Just simply download Smiafy in your iPad, iPhone, or MacBook and log in with your credentials. Over here, you can go to patient list. And as you can see, you have now the patient's files installed, uploaded in your software.